so I've decided to come outside tonight and create a, uh, a simple tea or infusion. And I don't know if you could see this very well, but kind of zoomed in very closely on some honeysuckle. And honeysuckle is uh, very popular. Um, these happen to be Japanese honeysuckle. And they're popular around this time of year, about mid-June. And you'll notice that there's actually several different color flowers. You have one that's sort of this bright white, or sometimes they're called silver flowers. And you'll see one that's kind of like this medium yellow. So here's the bright white, here's the medium yellow, and then here's one that's a brighter yellow. And sometimes people tend to think that these are different plants, but they're really just different stages of, of the flower. The brighter, whiter flowers tend to be newer, and you'll see there's this middle one here, they're not quite open yet. And then as the flower develops, they'll become more and more and more yellow, almost turning in some cases, um, if we can see up here, let's get in a little bit closer, turning almost like an orangey color and they'll start to dry up and so you can kind of tell where the flowers are in their stages and I like to do a mix of sort of this medium yellow in here and the white and maybe a handful per cup they're fresh flowers so I'll do about a handful per cup and honeysuckle you'll see here let's get a little closer Here's a more of a lighter yellow. So they're turning from this white and you have these really bright stamens. Some of them have green on them. Some of them are, you know, got a lot of pollen. You can see it all over the leaf here. And if we were earlier in the day, the bees would be out here pollinating. We got some wasps doing their thing as well. But um, the way I like to use honeysuckle is for bringing in that joy. There's a lot of fairy medicine. There's a lot of summertime medicine. And really working with this, especially um, as we near the solstice, I guess within the last day or so, um, I remember coming out here yesterday and it was maybe just a few of these closed up here and there and maybe just a, a couple open and now you have the whole, the whole bush really blossoming and opening up. And to me, they're quintessential summertime. They're quintessential summer solstice, flowers, all about, you know, going into the longest day of the year, bringing in that sweetness, bringing in that joy. And you can really just get in, get in good. I don't know if you can see that very well. And you can just, they'll pop off if they're ready to come off and just ask the plant trust your instinct you don't want to force it too much but you'll see that there's these kind of green ends to it and you can actually um, if it doesn't come off by itself you could just bite it off and I remember as kids just pulling out the um, the stamens here and you can kind of get all of this nice juiciness it almost um, almost looks like honey there's a sweetness to it. And so that's what I think of. I think of the sweetness of bringing home those childhood memories, of remembering the joys of summer, remembering that we don't have to take things so seriously, that we can really enjoy where we're at in our lives. We can enjoy summer. We don't always have to be working. We don't always have to be rushing. And as a flower medicine... I use both the yellow here, kind of to get back into that power, get back into our center, to bring the sun in, to bring joy into our into our lives and our heart, um, to bring in fun. And then the white is just to oh, and there's a spider, little tiny white spider. But as a the white from an energetic and and color perspective, again bringing in that purity bringing in um, just that grounding, that very nurturing. And together, just using the flowers in, in that way. And for these, I'll probably wind up 
um, I still have tincture from last summer. So these I'll probably just either put in a cold infusion and, and just sip that tonight. Oh, look, we've been greeted by a, uh, a bee, a bumblebee doing her, her thing on our last midnight run. And you may be wondering, what is this purple flower she's working on? And that's actually a form of belladonna, which is nightshade. It's, uh, it's poisonous. So we don't, we definitely don't want to be working with that. Although from a homeopathic standpoint, they do extract some of the compounds from belladonna and use that in homeopathic medicine for migraines. So, but we're not gonna touch that. We're just gonna worry about the honeysuckle. And I'm gonna take these and you can see I got about a handful of them. And I'm gonna use that in about a cup to a quart, um, pint to a quart, depending on what it looks like once it's in the jar. And if you'll remember, here's some of the flowers, the rose petals, rose flowers from yesterday, our uh, bush blossomed more. And I decided to go out and harvest some more since the cat ate most of the flowers. And I'm actually thinking that together of just making an infusion of the silver and, and yellow um, honeysuckle with the rose might be nice. Um, again, heart, very good heart medicine from the rose, the astringent, tightening up those, um, tightening up those tissues, relieving any excess, um, moisture that may be going on. And then the honeysuckle kind of bringing in that, in that sweetness and also some of that juiciness. Um, so you can have a juiciness without being so bogged down. So kind of balancing out and bringing in the colors, the pinks, the yellows, and the whites. So that's a little bit of the flowers that I've gathered for um, tonight's infusion. So thanks for joining me.